Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase número 9. Class number 9. Let's go! Beginner! Bienvenidos! Welcome! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And welcome to class number nine. Vamos a empezar hoy con un repaso, como siempre, y vamos a ver lo que hemos visto en la clase número ocho. Ok. Hemos visto en la clase ocho, in the north of... In the south of, in the east of, in the west of. Así. Hemos visto que, por ejemplo, is S Seville in the north of Spain or in the south of Spain? It's in the south of Spain. Con la contracción. It's in the south of Spain. Seville is in the south of Spain. It's not in the north of Spain. It's in the south of Spain. Okay? Is Alicante in the east of Spain or in the west of Spain? En voz alta, en casa. Is Alicante in the east of Spain or in the west of Spain? It's in the east of Spain. It's in the east of Spain. Muy bien. Y ahora, fíjate, podemos decir... China is east of Spain. Italy is east of Spain. Es verdad. Italy is east of Spain. Alicante is in the east of Spain. No podemos decir que Italy... We cannot say that Italy is in the east of Spain, porque Italia no es, no es en España. Italy is not in the east of Spain. Italy is not in Spain. Italy is east of Spain, pero no es in the east of Spain. Okay? Alicante is in the east of Spain. Malaga is in the south of Spain. Morocco is south of Spain. Marruecos is south of Spain. All of Africa, Africa, todo. All of Africa is south of Spain. Okay? Valencia is in the east of Spain. Is Burgos in the north of Spain or in the south of Spain? In voz alta, como? It's in the north of Spain. Muy bien. Is Malaga in the south of Spain or in the north of Spain? It's in the south of Spain. Is Madrid in the north of Spain or in the center of Spain? It's in the center of Spain. Is Cáceres in the east of Spain or in the west of Spain? It's in the west of Spain. Muy bien. It's in the west of Spain. It's not in the east of Spain. No, Cáceres is not in the east of Spain. It's in the west of Spain. Is Jaén in the north of Spain or in the south of Spain? It's in the south of Spain. Is Santander in the north of Spain or in the south of Spain? It's in the north of Spain. Okay. Muy bien. También hemos visto con, con Europa, toda Europa. Is Norway in the, north of, in the north of Europe or in the south of Europe? It's in the north of Europe. Is Norway in the north of Europe? Yes, it is. Is it in the south of Europe? No, it's not. No, it isn't. Is Norway in the north of Europe or in the south of Europe? It's in the north of Europe. Is it in the east of Europe or in the west of Europe? It's in the west of Europe. It's in the west of Europe. Is it in the east of Europe? No, it isn't. Is it in the west of Europe? Yes, it is. Is it in the east of Europe or in the west of Europe? It's in the west of Europe. 
¿ok? Hemos visto muchas cosas. Y ahora, incluso en ocho clases, hemos visto mucha gramática. Y ahora podemos hablar un poco y sabemos cómo usar esos pronombres. Uh, disculpa, eh, eh, bueno, esas esos preposiciones y pronombres también. ¿Ok? It. ¿Ok? El pronombre it, que es muy, muy importante, que estamos cambiando a it cuando sabemos lo que estamos hablando. Estamos hablando de Noruega. We're talking about Norway. Entonces, cambiamos por it. Is it in the north of Spain or in the south? Uh, in the north of Europe? Perdón. Is it in the north of Europe or in the south of Europe? It's in the north of Europe. Ok. Is Algeria in the north of Africa or in the south of Africa? It's in the north of Africa. That's right. It's in the north of Africa. Is, is Turkey in the east of Europe or in the west of Europe? It's in the east of Europe. Turkey. Turkey. Is Greece, is Greece in the north of Europe or in the south of Europe? Is Greece in the north of Europe or in the south of Europe? It's in the south of Europe. Greece. Okay? Muy bien. Word of the day. Oh, yeah. That's right. The word of the day. It's time for the word of the day. Nuestro palabra del día. Nuestro palabra del día hoy es... Hmm. ¿Cómo se dice en, en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice cinta? Como cinta adhesiva o cinta, bueno, una cinta para hacer grabaciones como un cassette. Eso es, tape. A tape. 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 Podemos decir, cuando estamos, cuando estamos hablando de un cassette... A cassette tape, or a tape. Pero tape, que usamos para fijar cosas, adhesiva, tape, tape, ¿ok? De celofán, cellophane tape. Cellophane tape, tape. Como tape, tape, es tape, tape. Uso mucho tape. I use a lot of tape. También es un verbo, to tape, to tape things together. I tape things together. I often tape papers together. I tape, tape papers together. I tape boxes. When I have to close boxes, I tape them. I tape them closed so that they do not come open. I tape them using tape. Entonces es un verbo. Y también sustantivo. It's both a verb and a noun. Ok, muy bien. Ok, ahora vamos a la clase número 9. Clase número 9, class number 9. Aquí estamos con highways. We're talking about highways, motorways. In England, people usually say People often say motorway. In North America, in Canada, en, es, en Estados Unidos y en Canadá, digamos, we say highway. Highway. Is the M30, M30, is the M30 a motorway in Madrid or a motorway in Barcelona? It's a motorway. In Madrid. It's a highway in Madrid. Okay. Is it, uh, is it a long highway? Yes, it is. Ahora podemos también hablar de ríos. De Tajo. Is the Tajo a river in Spain? Or is it a river in Italy? It's, it's a river in Spain. Y montañas. Everest. Is Everest a mountain in Spain? No, it's not. Is it a mountain in Nepal? Yes, it is. Is it a mountain in Spain or in Nepal? 
It's a mountain in Nepal. Are the Picos de Europa mountains in Spain? Or are they mountains in Nepal? They're mountains in Spain. Hmm. Highways. Otra vez. Highways. Um, the I-95. E-95. Dicen. Is the I-95 a highway in Spain or is it a highway in the United States? Is it a highway in the United States or in Spain? It's a highway in the United States. Podemos decir también interstate, que es como un gran autopista interestado, porque conecte estados, muchos estados, entonces dicen en Estados Unidos interstate. It's an interstate. Por eso pone la I. Interstate 95. It's an interstate. It's a highway. It's a motorway. True. It's a highway in the United States. It's a highway in the east of the United States. It's not a highway in the west of the United States. It runs from north to south. Conecta Maine, yo creo Maine, uh, que es en el norte, eh, este, en el bueno, noreste de, de, de Estados Unidos, the northeast of the United States. It connects the northeast of the United States with the southeast, Florida. Florida. It runs from Maine to Florida, the I-95. In, in Canada, tenemos el Trans-Canada. We have the Trans-Canada Highway. So the Trans-Canada Highway is not a highway in Spain. It's not a highway in Europe. It's a highway in Canada. It runs, it runs from east to west. It connects the east of Canada with the west of Canada. Or, it connects the west of Canada with the east of Canada. Depending on your point of view, tu punto de vista. It connects the east with the west. It runs from east to west. Quite close to the United States border. It runs more or less parallel to the United States border, connecting all the major cities in Canada. Starting in the East Coast, in my home province, Nova Scotia. And it connects uh, all the provinces. There are ten provinces in Canada. It runs through all the ten provinces, connecting them. Going through Ontario, Toronto. Toronto, which is in Ontario. Ottawa. And to Western Canada, Calgary through Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Vancouver, which is on the west coast. Vancouver is in the west of Canada. Vancouver is not in the east of Canada. Vancouver is in the west of Canada. My hometown, mi pueblo se llama Liverpool. Liverpool, Canada. Justo como Liverpool, Inglaterra. Pero Liverpool, Canada, which is very small. It's in the East Coast. It's, it's in the East of Canada. And my, uh, f f it's very, very far. Son ocho mil kilómetros, casi. Del este de Canada hasta el oeste. From the East to the West. The Trans-Canada Highway connects the East of Canada and the West of Canada. It's a highway in Canada. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Amazon. Is the Amazon a river in Europe or a river in South America? It's a river in South America. Muy bien. The Nile. The Nile. Is the Nile a river or is it a mountain? It's a river. The Nile is a river. Is it a river in Egypt or is it a river in Spain? It's a river in Egypt. Okay. 
is the Tahunya, a river in Egypt or a river in Spain? It's a river in Spain. Muy bien. Okay. The Rockies. Plural, the Rockies. Are the Rockies mountains in North America or mountains in Spain? They're mountains in North America. They're not mountains in Spain. They're mountains in North America. Vocabulary of the day. Oh, yes. Vocabulary of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés periódico? Como el mundo. A newspaper. Newspaper. I love to read the newspaper. I do. I love to read the newspaper. The newspaper is full of today's news. The newspaper. Número. Number. 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 Estoy cerrando la boca con la M. Number. Number. Muy bien. Siempre en voz alta. Pronunciando las palabras. Number. ¿Cómo se dice oficina? Oficina. Eso es office. Office. Very good. Very good. ¿Y papel? Muy fácil. Paper. 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 Ok. Y otra vez con la P. P picture. El último palabra. Picture. La última palabra, lo siento. Picture. Picture. Ok, muy bien. Newspaper. Number. Office. Paper. Picture. Picture. Con la P muy fuerte. Ok. Is the Mississippi a river or a street? Is the Mississippi a river or a street? It's a river. It's a river. It's not a street. Okay. The Mississippi. Yes, it's a river. Is it a river in Spain or is it a river in the United States? It's a river in the United States. Is it a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Does it run from east to west or from north to west? To south. Eso es un poco más difícil, pero ya he visto, bueno, he dicho unas veces con, con, con las carreteras, the Trans-Canada Highway runs from east to west, and the Mississippi River runs from north to south. Eso es, the Mississippi River runs from north to south. Is Alcala a street or a river? It's a street. It's a street. Muy bien. Okay, good job today. Muy bien hecho hoy. Ahora os dejo. Y vamos a ver más mañana. Mañana más y mejor, ¿no? Okay, muy bien. Hasta pronto. Bye-bye.